Good evening and welcome to Master Toka Online Class. Please, if today is your first day of watching our video, please consider subscribing. Okay? Let's look at this um, algebraic question. Okay? Uh, the first one said, this is permutation and combination question. Permutation. Permutation and combination. Okay, permutation and combination question. That's this particular one. Okay, it said, in how many ways can seven appetizers be arranged in a circular tray? Okay, uh, whenever you want to arrange anything in a circular tray or a round table, okay, or in a circular form, uh, the the formula is simply n minus one factorial. Okay, n minus one factorial. So we are arranging seven appetizers. Uh, so it means that what our n is seven. So therefore. Uh, seven appetizers uh, will be arranged will be arranged in seven minus one factorial ways which is what six factorial and six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one which is a um, So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2. So I have 720, 720 ways. Okay? So number 2. Number 2 said, in how many ways can uh, 8 different charms be arranged? Okay, in a circular bracelet be arranged. Okay? Anytime you are arranging something, uh, a bracelet is something you wear on your hand or on your neck. Okay? You know that... A bracelet can be turned front and back. So since we can turn it into two, it means and it's in a in, in a circular part. So whenever you're talking about bracelets or anything that can you can turn front and back like this. So the arrangement is in n minus one factorial then divided by two. This two is because you can turn it upside down. So and I'm arranging um, eight different charms. That is eight over one, uh, eight minus one, all factorial divided by two. Which you give you don't and say two cancel this. Okay? No, don't try that. Which is seven factorial divided by two. Okay? Even if it is six factorial divided by two, don't and say this divided by this to give you three factorial. Please, it's not the same thing. Okay? So what you have to do is say seven times six times five times four times two, three times two times one divided by what two. Then two will not cancel two. Okay? So I am left with them. Um, I'm left with um, 7 times 6 times 5 times this times this, which is what? 2, 5, 2, 0 ways. Okay? 2, 5, 2, 0 ways. So the next one, number 3 said, in how many ways can 4 digit numbers? We want to form a 4 digit numbers. Okay? We want to form a 4 digit numbers. Now, if you are forming a 4 digit numbers, uh, you, have to, you have to analyze it. Uh, he said, in how many ways can we form a four-digit number? Let me say this is the first digit, first digit, second digit, third digit, and fourth digit, okay? They said, in how many ways can we arrange, um, sorry, in how many ways can four-digit number be formed using the numbers of this? Now, if you want to form the first digit, you know that zero cannot start, cannot start a number. So, we can use any of one, two, three, four, five. To form the first one okay so which means we can use any of the five to form the first one and they said that what the digits are distinct means this thing means i cannot repeat it okay uh -huh. now since i have picked the first one you know that how many is, how many are remaining now one two three four five six out of six i have picked the first one so that one is out so if i pick the first one is remaining five and all the five can be used as the second one there is no restriction for the second one so i have what five here okay informing the third one i have already removed two so it's remaining four so informing the third one i can i can use all of them so it's many four and finally it's many what three so put your times there and then that is your answer so what do you have now so i'm having five times uh five times five times four times three Okay, so what do I have now? I'm having 
300 ways. Uh, 300 uh, numbers. 300 numbers. Okay? As simple as that. But the situation whereby, the situation whereby, for instance, let me show you something. Maybe the digits are nine. Maybe the digits are nine seven four three two maybe one for instance and we want to form a four digit number this is what the first digit second digit third digit fourth word digit now for the first digit you know we can use any of these to form the first digit so how many are they one two three four five six so what do i have six okay and i have taken one so the next one will be what five four three okay so that is how to form a, a four digit number and the answer will give you what let's put the times let's know what the answer will give us i'm just giving you an example ahead so i'm heading somewhere just watch six times five times uh four times three so i have 360 now this one gave me 360 ways okay uh -huh. now another way of getting this if there are not like if all of them can work, is by saying, uh, how many are they? One, two, six permutation. How many number are you forming? Four. Six permutation, four. Which is what? Six factorial all over what? Six minus four factorial. Which is what? Six factorial all over two factorial. Which is what? Six times five times four times three times two factorial. Two factorial all over two factorial. So two factorial cancel two factorial. You see, I am getting back that six times five times four times three which is this okay so but i don't like using this formula because sometimes you may have that uh, maybe a particular one will not work so just analyze it by saying first digit second digit third digit four digit okay uh -huh. hey, this is my anki. so so that is that so for the second one that is for i when the, the digits are not being repeated okay now for i i look at i i i i said the digits need not to be re not to be distinct. Uh, it means that what you can repeat it. If it's not distinct, it means you can repeat it. So let's do the same thing again. First, second, third, and fourth digit. And don't forget that there are how many six in number. And the zero cannot start a digit. So the first digit, uh, how many numbers can start it? Either one, two, three, four, five. So I have what five. Then in the second one, any of them can work. So, I can use any of the six. You know why I'm using any of the six? Because you can repeat the, the same one you put here. You can repeat it. That's why we're using the six. And then the third one is still six. Because you can still repeat these two that we have already taken. And the last one will be what? Six again. So, put your times here. Okay? Why? Because they can be repeated. Any one you, you collect, you can still bring it back and collect it again. So, that's why we're using that. So, my answer will now be um, five times six times six times six which will give you what which will give you one zero eight zero numbers now but let me still show you maybe the numbers are nine seven four three two one for instance or three two seven no uh, let me say or three two uh which other number eight for instance okay uh -huh. you know that the first let's do again first second third and fourth okay now if you want to form the first digit, any of them can work. So I'll have what? Six. And if forming the second digit, any of them can work. And since I can repeat, it will not be six, six, and six. So if you put your times, you will not have that word. All these things mean six raised to power what? Four. Okay? So anytime you are arranging, uh, so you want to form a number, okay, using the digit given to you. If all of them can work, the formula is simply any raised to power R. Okay? N means the number they are. How many are they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. Raised to power. How many digit number are you forming? 4 digit number. Raised to power 4. You see, you will get the same answer. Okay? So, I like analyzing it. So, if you can if you can use that analysis, you will still get your answer. Instead of making mistake, use the analysis, please. So, the last one, but not the least, let us analyze the last one. The last one again said the first digit, second digit, third digit, and four digits. So what do we do in this one? They say the numbers are even. If the numbers are even, which means I am going to go with the last, I'm going to start with the last one first. Why? Because an even number is any number that ends in two, four, six, eight, zero. 
So the even numbers we have here to form the last one are what? 4, 2, and 0. So these are the only even number I can use to form the last one. So I can use only any of these three. So the last one is 3. Okay? Uh -huh. So you can now start forming the other one. So I can decide to form the first one. And in the first one, I cannot use 0. So what I can use is what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm using 5 here. But don't forget that we have already picked the last one. Because they say that, okay, it need not to be this thing. Okay, oh, it need not to be this thing. So I'm using 5. Okay, since it need not to be this thing. But if it's going to be this thing, I'm going to tell them that what? I have already picked one here. So I will use 4. Okay, so the second one, the second one, any of them can work. If I can pick any of them. So I'm having 6 here. And the third one, I can pick any of them. I'm having 6 here. So my answer is just to put times in the middle and then I'm having a, and then I'm having 5 times 6 times 6 times 3 so which is what 5 40 numbers okay so thank you very much for watching in our next video we continue God bless you